what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have this nice and beautiful question on the board that says 4 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x plus 1 and we're told to look for the value of x well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices here that says when i have a to the power of m plus n just as we have here this can be written as a to the power of m times a to the power of n so we're going to be writing this in this form so this is 4 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to so this becomes 10 to the power of x times 10 to the power of 1 which is still 10. now let's divide through by 10 to the power of x so i'll divide this by 10 to the power of x i'll divide this by 10 to the power of x i'll divide this by 10 to the power of x now this expression from indices can be written as for example when i have a to the power of n all over b to the power of n since they share the same exponent this can be written as a over b all raised to the power of the common exponent n so this becomes 4 over 10 all raised to the common exponent that is x plus this the same way is 25 all over 10 all raised to the common exponent x and this is equal to now see that this 10 to the power of x cancels out this 10 to the power of x leaving behind 10 very good now let's break this down 4 divided by 2 is 2 10 divided by 2 is 5 so here we have 2 over 5 all raised to the power of x plus now we also break this down 25 divided by 5 is 5 10 divided by 5 is 2 so we have 5 over 2 all raised to the power of x and this is equal to 10 very good now notice that 2 over 5 all raised to the power of x is an inverse of 5 over 2 all raised to the power of x. That means we can write this like this. 1 all over 5 over 2 all raised to the power of x. It is still the same thing. Plus, this is 5 over 2 all raised to the power of of x and this is equal to 10. now we can introduce substitution by saying that let this expression which is 5 over 2 all raised to the power of x be equal to y so this becomes 1 all over y plus this is y equal to 10. now to clear out the fraction we're going to be multiplying through by y. So we have y to multiply this expression, which is 1 over y, plus y to multiply this expression times y. And this is equal to, we have y to multiply 10. So this becomes, y can cancel out y, leaving behind 1, plus y times y is y squared, and this is equal to, y times 10 is 10y very good now we're going to be moving this 10y to the left hand side so this will become i'll be writing y squared first so this is y squared when i move 10y to the left it becomes negative 10y and i've already got plus one here plus one equal to zero so we have a nice quadratic equation now we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this our a from this quadratic equation is 1 our b is negative 10 and our c is 1 so the quadratic formula we're using will be 
we're looking for y and this will be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute. So this becomes y equal to negative b. What is b? b is negative 10. So I'm going to be putting negative 10 here plus or minus the square root of b squared. That will be negative 10 squared minus 4 times a times c that is 4 times a a is 1 times c c is also 1 all over 2 times a that is 2 times 1 so simplifying further we have y to be equal to negative times negative is positive so this will be positive 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 all over 2 times 1 that is 2 and then simplifying further y will become 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 4 is 96 all over the denominator that is 2 so this becomes y equal to 10 plus or minus now the square root of 96 is 4 root 6 all over 2 and now let's split the fraction so our y now becomes 10 all over the denominator 2 here we have plus or minus this is 4 root 6 all over the denominator 2 so simplifying further y will become 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus or minus now 4 root 6 divided by 2 is 2 root 6 very good so there are two values of y from here one of which is 5 go with the plus plus 2 root 6 why the other is 5 now this time we'll go with the minus minus 2 root 6 very good now remember we're taught to look for x and we said let's recall that we said let 5 over 2 all raised to the power of x be equal to y since we're looking for the exponents which is x we're going to take the ln of both sides so i'll take the ln of 5 over 2 all raised to the x this is equal to ln of y. Now, applying the law of logarithm here, I'll take the exponent, that is x, and multiply it by ln of 5 over 2. And this is equal to ln y. Now, divide both sides by ln of 5 over 2. So, I'll divide by ln of 5 over 2. Divide by ln of 5 over 2. Now see that this cancels out this, leaving behind x to be equal to ln y all over ln of 5 over 2. Now here on the denominator, we're going to apply the law of logarithm that says, when I have, for example, ln of a over b, this can be written as ln of a minus ln of b. So that means this expression now becomes x equal to ln y all over ln of 5 minus ln of 2 just like this now let's substitute our values for y so x will be so this is going to be the first value of x which is going to be ln y so ln y our first value of y is this which is 5 plus 2 root 6 all over the denominator we have ln 5 minus ln 2 so this is a value for x or now let's get the other value of x the other value for x will be ln y so ln y the second value of y is 5 minus 2 root 6 all over the denominator is ln 5 minus ln 2 and these are the final results 
for x. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.